Am I remembering right? Like, doesn't cooking things in a microwave like save more of the vitamins? Is that what I'm thinking? Like it's healthier. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least that's what I, I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to say it. I believe it's a Samsung ad I read once. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a magazine in at a the doctor's office in 1982. <laughs> Shockingly accurate. <laughs> All dog-eared. <gasps> they got a scientific American. You might be able to find the ad. I just remember a dude had buff abs and was holding a microwave, and it said <laughs> oh something about <laughs> vitamins and minerals. Stay fit. Work out. Cook your vegetables in a microwave to retain their maximum minerals and vitamins. Simply healthy. Simply Samsung. Was he shirtless? I, I, yes, of course he was. Where did you see this? I'm, I see it every night in my dreams. <laughs> it doesn't matter. When the microwave man visited me again last night. I had the microwave man dream again. I talked to my wife. and I did, His abs like, are glistening. Did he come again? <laughs> And he says, I need it for vitamins. Oh, he says it's healthier. <laughs> All the ramen noodles, it saves them. One time, I was uh, dating a girl, and uh, she asked for some cooking paraphernalia for the holidays, and she had one specific thing, a really expensive item that is apparently called, no joke, a Dutch oven. Oh, yeah, yeah. I only know that as the thing where you fart and make someone's head go under yeah. the blanket. So when I went to William-Sonoma and asked for a Dutch oven, it was like Beavis and Butthead. And you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> can I have a Dutch oven? <laughs> can you give me a Dutch what, oven? What is, <laughs> what is a real Dutch oven? It's, it's like a ceramic, it's, I don't know, it's, a, it's, it's an expensive bowl. Is it, wait, with is a it, lid? It's not like a chimney or nothing? Or? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It, I was like, is why is this necessary? Uh, no, it was just, it was like a ceramic fancy blue thing. Probably the color is unimportant. <laughs> but no, I like, I like <laughs> that thing. The color might be important actually, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. But yeah, I was like, why is this expensive and stupid and why do you need this? Why don't you just put it in a, why don't you put everything in a... What's wrong with an American oven? Yeah. I don't understand. Why don't you just cut the top off of a milk jug and heat it yeah, over there an open you go. flame? See, you're talking about, look, we ended up together for a reason. All right. What catches fire that you wouldn't think would catch fire? Mmm, flesh. I was thinking steel wool. Flesh seems like it's, I mean, I guess it eventually burns, but, but that's a lot of water. Yeah. 70% water. Yeah. But, oh, it'll burn. I believe you. No, uh, steel wool. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good answer. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Show me steel wool. Show me, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever use CompuServe? No. Prodigy? No. Uh, America Online. I never did any of those. I didn't have the internet for a very long time. College? Yeah. Was that the first time? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I didn't have access to like, well, you know, I used uh, AOL over at Ricky's place one time to play Neverwinter Nights, the original Neverwinter Nights. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I played, uh, you know, I was in the beta test program for EverQuest. Me too. Wait, what? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I remember playing it again over at Ricky's because he had just gotten Time Warner. Yeah. Uh, and it was blazing fast at the time. Literally bought my house for the fastest internet available. Yeah. Twice. Uh, Twi yeah, I, I bought two houses. I, I recall. Specifically based on. Yeah. <laughs> but no, over at the duplex when Ricky was living in the duplex. Yep. That's when uh, we got into the, or I got into the, uh, the beta. But he had better internet, so I was like, here, have the... I think it was anyway. one of the expansions. Oh. And uh, well. I, I remember logging in, playing for about 20 minutes, and somehow six hours had passed. Yeah. And yeah. I said, yep, that's it. That's the end of my mm -hmm. participation in this beta. Yeah. And it, I was like, no, it's, it's like Ultima Online, but bigger. Yeah. But no, I, uh, my only experience uh, with the internet, my, or like my first early experiences with the internet was uh, AOL. Yeah. I uh, had to pay a long distance fee. You had to pay long distance to log into AOL? Yeah. Wow. I lived out in the middle of nowhere. It was a fly speck of a town. But they didn't even have like an AOL connection? There, there, wasn't, there wasn't Doug no. AOL hanging out saying like, yo, you got no. anything you want me to pass on? No. We had, I'll make a phone call, get you an answer faster than AOL will. There's like one stoplight. So. Yeah. <laughs> Man. This was like 93, I think. 94, maybe. Used AOL and played... Uh, the original Neverwinter Nights, which yep. was basically a mud, you know. Do you think muds are still running? I'm can we, sure. Can we do an episode on muds? I, I think we should. 
And maybe really we could find sure. each other. Like we could both log into terminals. Like, like let's see if we can yeah. get like old Commodore 64s or there's, something. There's got to be some muds out there, but man, yeah. Oh, get some old ones from yeah. like Goodwill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Goodwill Computer Museum around here. Oh yeah, no, that's amazing. We should do a total tour of that as soon as the whole world is not on fire. Yes. Uh, okay. That's great. Also, okay, so we get an old terminal. I was talking last night about how. Did you notice when you look for niche information on Google, you oftentimes will find forum posts of people, whether it's a, you know, I don't know, specific health or technology problem or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, but it's always like, like all of that seemed to like end at 2012. And my theory is, tell me if you back me up on this, like after that, you find a bunch of Reddit posts, but outside of Reddit, like nobody goes on public forums anymore which used to be robot crawlable. Mm -hmm. Now everybody is having private conversations. So like all of these conversations have gone dark, which is why you find all these posts, but these answers to your mm -hmm. questions or people saying, I have the same problem in yeah. 2008. Yes, there is a lot of that. I think it's probably, a lot of those have probably been obviated by social media oh, and, and transitioned and over to Reddit and Facebook and stuff like that. One other vector, uh, YouTube tutorial videos. Oh, that that right. will pop right up. Uh, when mm -hmm. I was having to fix the starter on my Jeep, you type in, you know, yeah. it's like, like, bang it with a rock. And by the way, literal advice, and it worked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, I had to do that. Uh, my car, well, whatever, different story. <laughs> I had to do that to one of my enemy's brains <laughs> once. <laughs> I had to kickstart his brain with a rock. Hey, how long do we have on the podcast? We, we got, got time. We, we got, got time. We got a while. It's turning clear though. Yeah. No, legitimately, my wife has run to the hot box. And they're like, it's burning. You're burning something. You can't do that. <laughs> you have to do it like this. Well, you talked about how your wife has super smell. Oh, yeah. She and does. So she, she, does. she knows burning, and you're just like, like, uh, nah. Well, like, you're having a stroke. Well Shut done. Up. <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing I wish we had been able to nail down while Andrew was around was doing some history blow your mind information. Maybe we could do that in a future time. Oh, I like that idea. Like things you never knew about uh, Woodrow Wilson. For example, which president he was? That list is pretty big. See, that's something I never had any use for was presidents. What number of president was John Samuson. John Stamuson? John Stamuson. <laughs> John, yeah. Yeah. He, he shortened it to Stamos because he was getting yeah. persecuted. <laughs> like what? Oh, he, well, he was he was the 33rd. No, he was the 37th. It's like, who cares? I mean, who it's, cares? I think that's only useful for like solving crosswords, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Reagan times Kennedy minus <laughs> right. 12. Exactly. I don't really know much presidential trivia, although one that I really do like, Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah? The only president who claims to have encountered a Sasquatch. Oh, oh that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can we maybe do it? We could do an episode of like, you and I both go arm ourselves with like 12 facts that we're pretty oh, sure facts. are gonna surprise the other person. I, I like to arm myself, and then you said with facts, and I was like, oh. Uh, uh, sorry, with fax machines that <laughs> we use to bludgeon each other with. <laughs> it's an office space moment. <laughs> right. It's getting there, it's gonna That's have to like, start. Um, I don't know what it's really called, but you put it on bread or an English muffin, it's like ham and gravy. It's like, I only know it as on a shingle. Yeah. Chip, chip. Custard. No, no, no. Vegemite. Vegemite's all right in my book. Oh my God. What? It's, it's gelatinous soy sauce, and you know I loves me some soy. That's right. Ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Been showing my kids 80s prog rock videos. Such as? Uh, Toto's Africa. Oh, okay. By the way, more popular than you think. It's creeping oh. up on a billion views. Oh, no. Yeah. I, that, that song is crazy popular. Uh, the Weezer version or the original? The original. <laughs> yeah. It's wild. Yes, that video is bonkers. Owner of the Lonely Heart. Oh, I don't remember the video. Oh my God. So the video starts off like uh, we're playing a traditional ladies video. Mm -hmm. We're in a studio and we're looking at guitars. Doo -doo. And then as if the dude is bored with his own song, he looks up off to space and a voiceover comes in and says, maybe there's another way, 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 way. Then it becomes this bonkers, Brave New World 1984 thing, complete with mealworms in dude's eyes, what? snakes and hawks coming around. At the, the end of the video is they throw a dummy off of a skyscraper that crossfades into a hawk as if to imply, yeah, he became a bird, the end. Did the shirtless microwave man show you this video? <laughs> 
I have something to show you, Brian. I swear. All Look I inside. It's yes, owner of a lonely heart. <laughs> ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. And then Brian just falls into the microwave, starts flying like the dude. La 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 la. <laughs> we were worried about the vapors, and here we are. <laughs> no, now I've got the What's vapors. <laughs> oh. What's that, dress match robot man? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's crazy. He needs to oh. see a doctor. Did you watch that Beastie Boys documentary no. on Apple TV Plus? Like, they confess, or confess, like, they proudly announce, like, yeah, that was shot, that video that was up with million dollar joints was shot for like $200 in over the weekend. What video? Fight for your right to party. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah. In the thing, in the lecture, lecture? I guess that's a lecture. In the program, they, they swear that they only like the song in its ironic frat boy. Clearly, we're making fun of frat boys by, you know, celebrating all the things frat boys love. I've always wondered that. It's like, were you guys being satirical? Really? I mean, who's to say what's in their hearts at any time? But I know it's, it's a charming story. And as somebody who really digs the Beastie Boys, if you said, I have two hours and slides of Beastie Boys stories that you probably don't know, I would say, let me clear my schedule. And I would listen full stop. If the two remaining Beastie Boys came and said that, full attention, you've got it. And so in that regard, it's good. It's, it's not a hard hitting, documentary though this is their story from their perspective okay a little bit of whitewashing yeah they kicked out the one girl in the beastie boys oh right yeah from the uh, f the drummer right yeah, from yeah, l7 yeah. Uh, no no no. Uh, luscious jackson is luscious that what jackson. it was somewhat known yeah alt rock band yeah I recall. Er yeah. early aughts yeah, yeah. Something, something like that yeah I thought it was a charming story. I got a little choked up. Also, you want to talk about punk rock. Adam Yout, in an age where now we see billion dollar enterprises bend the knee to China, dude ran a concert called Free Tibet. Oh, might, yeah. Might as well be middle finger to the, the yeah. second largest superpower. It yeah. Was, that was crazy. I was just thinking like, are we going to get pulled off of YouTube for talking about that? Because that I've, I'm starting to understand like- Like how powerful that is, yeah? Yeah. I am almost certain this will be a standalone podcast on scam stuff. <laughs> I am, I, we will use bits of this in this, but, but yeah. I we'll do like that. the fact that we keep doing it by a campfire. That's nice. I think that should be like part of the jam. Especially like when it gets to be, you know, 100 a billion degrees. degrees. Yeah, <laughs> when, when somehow it's hotter in the middle of, yeah. oh, it's only 107. Let's yeah. make it hotter. Mm -hmm. Slightly. That'll be in about two months. Yeah. Oh, it's been nice, hasn't it? It has been very nice. We've been shooting outside for a hot minute. Did you get yourself a vaccine slot? No, not yet. Should I do that? I assume everyone should. Or let's buy it on the black market. I mean, yeah. No, I want to. That's definitely something I want to do. I just don't. Like, I just got uh, an email from my medical provider saying, hey, uh, sorry, we're not getting any more. It's, it's a weird ethical dilemma because I'm certain that there are many people who have a medical need greater mm -hmm. than, than ours, and I just assume it'll be a hot minute. Do we have any uh, black market bootleg sponsors uh, for, of medical things? <laughs> HelloFresh, can you hook us up with a vaccine? <laughs> what? Oh, healthcare professionals at uh, Roman. Maybe Ooh. they've got some sort of vaccine. Yeah. We'll just send it directly to your door. <laughs> we get the shot, we're all excited, and then we just look and instead we have mains three foot long and we're like dang it wrong shots i'm for it man man i don't know when i should what's the right time to show your daughters any coen brothers movie i guess it depends on the coen brothers movie i saw raising arizona when i was pretty young that's pretty good right? uh, we did watch oh brother where art thou okay much yeah. sillier than i remember oh yeah very it's, silly. it's very silly very um, very silly hud sucker proxy would probably be a pretty good one yeah big lebowski wait on until the maybe late yeah. teens there's, yeah. you know. You have to find it cute and retro and not transgressive with all the dope smoking mm -hmm. and the sexing that happens. Yeah. Which probably as you get closer to your late teenager years, not the right time. Yeah. I still like Blood Simple quite a bit, but. Never finished. Wait, was that a horror one? No, no. It was a crime thriller. Okay. Just really bare bones. Which is first the one, one where they're always giving each other the high hat. Miller's Crossing. Yeah. I forgot. God, Miller's Crossing is so good. I Never let him see Fargo. No? Uh, I don't know. They can go see it without me. I don't want, I don't want my, I don't, I don't want to be in the room while my kids are watching Steve Buscemi have sex with a prostitute. That's, oh, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just, just put that mm -hmm. on life goals. Uh, died without ever being in the room when that happened. You just broke Steve Buscemi's heart. Yeah. 
Well, hello, fellow youths. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, we having sex with a prostitute. <laughs> Kim's convenience, man, so good. <laughs> Is he in it? No, like that's that's a good a kind of fringe. I no, no, try no, to no. find the connection. I, I'm just thinking about things that I am watching with my kids that are not Coen Brothers movies. What, what was the first online game you ever played? I guess Doom. Mm. Well, I want to say there was uh, some kind of like space trading game in bulletin board system days, like mid 80s. Actually, no, I take it back. It was on CompuServe. It was a trivia game. And I was like uh, in fourth grade, I think, on my Apple IIe. And I couldn't believe that like I had to keep reminding myself that there were other humans who were trying to hit the button just as fast as I was that I was playing against. To blow your mind. It, 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 it still does at this moment. <laughs> what if we did a prize at some point? Like, uh, I don't know, something really, really awesome. And we had a contest. A modern rogue cover contest. Someone somewhere out there covers one of our past 380 episodes or a segment from it. Either do it beat for beat or claymation or however you want to interpret it. Not a dangerous it. one. Uh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, correct. Oh, jeez. Tell the story, not not the fact. <laughs> yeah. No ER visits. Yeah. But like, uh, that'd be wild. We could have our own Modern Road Film Festival. <laughs> Make your own Samson and Chooch episode? Oh, yeah. Any of that. We'd have to limit it. We'll just say 30 seconds, right? Yeah. Something short and sweet? Sure. Two minutes. Maybe two minutes. If you want to do an epic. I like that. That's fun. So Doom 2 is one of the reasons I moved to Austin. What? Yeah. I mean, I 100% I believe everything. We're learning so much. I love these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doom 2. It was back in 94. So is that Doom 2? 90, no, yeah. 94 would be Doom 2 because I would have been a sophomore. Late 95, 96 would have been Quake. Quake. Yeah. Okay. Soundtrack so, by Trent Reznor. That's right. It Freaking was a big amazing. Deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was a senior in high school on a student council trip coming out from my hometown which was a hellhole, came to Austin for the state student council thing or whatever. Doom 2 championships. Doom, the Doom 2 <laughs> championships. It was me and Fred Savage. <laughs> wow, dude, God, the wizard. <laughs> uh, we went down to, uh, we skipped all the student council stuff. Like all these students from all over the state coming up and giving their speeches about leadership and all that. We came down here for that. We didn't go to any of it. Yep. We just screwed around and did... Austin stuff for like the whole weekend. And our sponsor was totally cool with it. Wait, uh, uh, Doom 2, how does this? Hang on, we went down to Guadalupe, right? Okay. And I was just like, what? You guys are just hanging out down here in this cool? This Guadalupe was awesome, the right? Drag. It was the drag, yeah. right? And there was all the great places down there, Quacks and- La Fun, La Fun Einstein's, Einstein's Arcade, Blue Velvet, Scientology Clinic. Scientology Clinic, all of that was still there, it's all gone. Hole in the Wall, is it still there? Hole in the Wall is still there. Yeah. Hole in the Wall is still there. But I went into uh, Le Fun. Yep. I was just like, it's an underground arcade. What is this, oh my God. And there's you know, had a blast. And I was just, I was in Wonderland. Yeah. Cause I'd never really been anywhere in my life at that point. And then I went, I was walking along and there was this door. It was this like glass door, it was all black glass. It said something like Longhorn Networked Entertainment or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, you went to one of the very first like uh, uh, well, internet cafes. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it was something like that. And I opened it up and there was just a empty stairwell, rickety, old, you know, so I ascend the stairwell and I'm in this like cafe up on the second floor somewhere overlooking the drag. Yep. And it was like this empty like cafe, like a diner. Yeah. Chairs, dusty and everything. And I'm like, okay, is this a thing? And I see another door with like completely opaque glass. Yeah. Open it up and it's just this dark, quiet room, headphones with just a LAN. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, just a local LAN, not even connected to the internet. LAN. Yeah. And there were all these I people guess LAN in there is just... local area network. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just in there playing. And I was like, and they said, oh, yeah, it's uh, you know, two bucks an hour. Do you want to play? And I'm like, yes. Yes. And so I sat there for an hour playing Doom 2 for the first time. And I was yeah. just with other people. And I was Which like. Which changes everything. Like, oh, yeah. like, I mean, oh, man, to have been part of that vanguard that was the first to ever experience, yeah. you know, multiplayer deathmatch. I left that just going, this is the greatest place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> like, Le Fun, Einstein's, this secret, weird, in an abandoned cafe, land. Oh, and then you went to, of course, you moved to Austin immediately and didn't go to College Station. That's not what happened. Oh. <laughs> I wish. Did you ever go to Floppy Joe's? Yes. Right? In oh, a world, wow. Right? Yeah. Three and a half inch floppy disks 
in a world where blockbuster video was able to, you know, rent, you know, either cartridges or discs or whatever, these guys were quote unquote renting PC games, which was a no-no. But what they would do is they would say, technically you are buying this game. We have a very generous return policy. <laughs> if you do not return it, you will be charged $60. If you do return it, you'll be charged a $5 convenience fee. And so everybody would just grab their you know, games, load them up on the hard drive, come on back and return it. And yep. that was that. I remember I kept having to have it explained to me by my friend. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang on, renting PC games. Are they stupid? No, they knew exactly what they were doing. But I rented one of the old SSI games, the Underdark Dungeons oh and Dragons. Uh, uh, Pool of Radiance era, the D&D yes. games. Yeah. One of, the, one of the like gold box. You yeah. Know. This one was like Menzo Branson or Underdark or something like that. I, that's where I got Vista Pro 2.0, which oh, was yeah. a landscape renderer. <laughs> uh, Vista Pro 1.0 was, was used in the Wrath of Khan for the Genesis sequence. Really? Yeah. Back when it was like a university project. Okay, look, we're clearly getting <laughs> doped up on the fumes. Floppy Joes, wow. So I, uh, I bought on good old games oh, a couple gee. of years ago, all of those old D&D gold box games. Yeah. Like they hold up a bunch of them. Oh, I haven't played any of them. Oh yeah. No, no, <laughs> I just I, bought I, them all. I went back, like I never finished Wasteland 1. Oh yeah. Before there was even the crowdfunded sequel. Uh -huh. Wasteland 1, it had this habit of saving your game whenever you entered a new map, which is great when you go in and out of cities or whatever. Bad when part of the story is your helicopter crashes into a city and it saves and you're totally unprepared for the final boss battle. Oh no! So, I never played Wasteland. Oh, it's great. It's um, I always get that confused with Mule. Oh, no, no. Mule was like a side scroller, right? Oh, was it? I, Danny Buntonberry, I believe, yeah. yeah. I haven't played either one of them, but I uh, thought they occupy the same yeah. slot in my brain for some reason. Did you ever play Skate or Die? Oh man. Dude, I played Skate or Die a lot. Wait, did you ever experience CGA graphics? CGA? Four color. EGA had 16 colors. What would, give me some CGA examples. Uh, early, early King's Quest. Oh, yes. Sierra games. Yeah, uh, Where it was only four colors. Mm -hmm. Better than monochrome by a lot. But yeah. you could decide what the four colors were. They could be cyan, magenta, oh, yeah. And yeah, 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 black no, and white, I or whatever. Actually, went and replayed within the last year the original CGA King's Quest. Oh, all the way through? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Why are those not on our phone? I know, right? I know that there's a bunch of the Scum Engine stuff, like the LucasArts games, yeah. have been ported over. Oh, they, yeah. they look really good. Oh, really? And it, you could double tap, uh, and then it switches from original graphics to enhanced graphics. Oh, nice. Like Monkey Island is on there. Wow. Uh, Haunted Mansion. Oh, I got to get yeah. that. Maniac Mansion, you mean? Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm thinking of Rise of the, of the te Tentacle. Uh, <laughs> testicle. All right, what else is this? Oh, but now I'm thinking of Rise of the Triad. Rise of the Triad. That game was oh, yeah. amazing.